Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about port isolation. What is port isolation and how port isolation work? So uh, suppose uh, to limit broadcast, we uh, put all the PCs in a same VLAN. So if we we want to uh, communicate this PC with this PC, so we put this PC in a same VLAN. If if we want to uh, restrict the PC, one PC to communicate with other PC, we put the, the, the these two PCs in different VLAN. So those uh, those two PCs uh, will not be able to communicate with each other. If uh, we put all the PCs in the same VLAN, so this PC will be able to communicate with each other. Suppose in in a same VLAN, suppose this is the VLAN 10. So if we uh, want to restrict these two two PCs, this is partner one and partner B, partner A and partner B, that uh, these two partner within a same VLAN do not communicate with each other. So what will we do? So we use the concept of port isolation we isolate their ports so this pc uh, uh, limit their broadcast and uh, do not uh, send their broadcast to other uh, pc within the same isolation group so we make a, a isolation group and put this uh, two pcs in a uh, isolation group so these two pcs in a same isolation group will do not able to communicate with each other so let's uh, see some lines about uh, isolation so overview to implement layer to isolation between interfaces you can add each interface to different vlan that i told you that if you want to restrict the communication between uh, two pcs uh, so put them in different vlan this mean this is the meaning of that line and however in this method vestige of vlan resources so this is uh, uh, the vestige of resources that uh, we are putting that PC in different VLAN so we are not vesting VLANs in port isolation in a same VLAN we just are uh, doing the port isolation and that PC and uh, limit their broadcast domain and do not send their broadcast packet to other PCs so this is the uh, port isolation save the vestige of VLAN so port isolation can isolate interfaces in the same VLAN and port isolation group can effectively implement layer 2 isolation between these interfaces port isolation provides secure and flexible networking solution so uh, port isolation modes can be layer 2 isolation and layer 2 layer 3 internetworking or layer 3 and layer 2 isolation so isolate to isolate broadcast packet in a same vlan but allow users connecting to different interfaces to communicate at layer 3 you can set the port isolation mode to layer 2 and layer 3 to prevent interface in the same vlan from communicating at both layer 2 and layer 3 you can set a port isolation to prevent interface in the same vlan uh, from communicating so we are preventing these two pc partner a and partner b within the same vlan to communicate with each other these we are preventing these pc1 and pc2 to communicate with each other within the same vlan so the here is the solution that we just uh, make this port isolate so how uh, we make what is the configuration i just uh, give the ip address so this is the 10.10.10.1 and this is the 10.10.10.2 within the same network and this is the 10.10.10.3 so we make these two pcs isolated port isolate this port isolate and this port isolate so this uh, two pc become uh, in a same isolated group and do not communicate with each other but these two pcs are able to communicate with pc3 so what is the configuration just go here in layer 2 so system view interface G, uh, sorry not giga it's ethernet port ethernet we go here in this ethernet g2 ethernet ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 2 and port link type access because this is the this containing one vlan so this is the access link and port default vlan is uh, vlan 10 oh -ho we have to make the vlan vlan 10 here we make the vlan 10 and go in interface for default vlan 10 and port isolation port isolation enable so just have the command this port isolation enable if you want to add the group so you also can create the group so by default if you are not use uh, creating any group so its group name would be default the uh, group 1 which is the default group so we go here sorry okay we go in 3 in this interface 
ec2 interface and port link type access port default vlan 10 and port isolation enable isolation enable and for on this interface g004 port link type access and port default vlan 10 we are not isolating this pc's port so uh, if we isolate so these uh, three pc will not communicate with each other so these two we are making these two ports isolated so these two pcs are in same isolation group which is the default group uh, zero isolation group zero and uh, these two pcs will not communicate with each other but these two pcs will communicate with this pc which is not in isolation group so let's ping ping 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 2 so it will not ping from here we ping 3 ping 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 3 it will ping so here if we ping 3 it will ping from here if we ping uh, pc1 it will not ping pc1 ip is 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1 so it will not we ping from here both pcs will be reachable 10.10.10.1 it's reachable and 10.10.2 will be reachable from here 10.1 is not reachable from here 10.2 is not reachable so this is the concept of uh, uh, isolation port isolation we make port isolation uh, within a same vlan if we want to separate a device or a pc or a user so just make this uh, user port as isolated so that user will be uh, will not uh, communicate and its broadcast will be isolated so this uh, how uh, isolation works so if you like the video please subscribe